Hey guys, Glockster42 here. Here, yeah, follow the Reich group build update. We're coming along on it here. I've added some filters and some weathering, very subtle, to this uh, King Tiger. Just some dark rain streaks and just wanted to muck it up a bit. It's not going to get too carried away because, let's face it, some of these, uh, this particular model is only going to be maybe. Maybe it's seen a month of combat, uh, maybe, and we could put some battle damage on it and some rain streaks. Um, I'm really uh, turning into the into a rivet counter. I was online the other day, checking what the weather was like in Berlin in late April, early May, 1945. Uh, checking what days it was sunny, what days it was raining, what the weather conditions were like, what the temperatures were like. <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to be one of the early, early first, second part of first or second of May. Uh, it was raining those days, so we may show a little bit of uh, a little bit more rain effects on that. Maybe a little bit of water on the top of the turrets and some wet streaks and some darkened uniforms, um, indicating a little bit of a rainstorm there. Uh, depending on what the date is that I actually decide to uh, set this in. So the Tiger's just about done, maybe a little bit more weathering on the barrel and maybe some mud splatter, but uh, this octopus pattern has kind of grown on me here, which is which is actually good because the person should kind of like what they build. So um, we've got the uh, Vallejo um, black and primer red mix on all my figures here for a nice deep shade coat for the first coat of painting. We've got some dead guys here. Uh, we're not going to show the real gruesomeness. These guys are all going to be under under blankets and whatnot. And as you can see, the building here, this is a mini art building, a vacuform building. I've got the first initial coat of paint. I wanted to keep it kind of spring and summery looking, so I went with this off-white with a light blue. This is a lot paler. Um, this camera tends to overexpose, so it's looking a lot brighter than it actually is. And then the interior, just, you know, maybe a... Same with the yellow, it's not nearly as bright as it looks. And then just an off-white. So we've kind of got our, uh, we're getting our placement here for the King Tiger set up. Um, we've got the figures here. This is going to be figure heavy. I believe I've counted, what, four, six, seven, nine, eleven figures plus the uh, victims down there. So all the figures are actually now finally primed up. Put this back here uh, primed up and ready to paint hard to see anything with this lighting and these are all in all in the red black um, but they're ready to go so unfortunately my time off is over I'm heading back to work here tomorrow for 10 days away from home so this is going to get uh, put by the wayside again so if I'm done by midsummer I'll probably be doing good on this one so anyway guys uh, thanks for watching Glockster 42 out